Hey my friends, what's going on? It's Ultimus. Um, got some footage going in the background for you from the uh, BG Battleground uh, bonus event. I almost want to keep calling it a holiday event, but it's really not a holiday event. I mean, unless you're celebrating free honor kills from everybody trying to gear up their uh, alts. <laughs> That's worth celebrating, I guess. I could get behind that and make that a, uh, a holiday in Warcraft. But anyways, I digress. Um, 20 seconds into this and we're already so far off topic. Um, with BlizzCon being this weekend, I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, do a little bit of a video along the lines of what I would like to see from Legion. Um, with, again, with BlizzCon being this weekend, we're expecting a lot of announcements, everything from the Warcraft movie, Warcraft itself about Legion, I'm sure there'll be some Diablo stuff, obviously Overwatch uh, is in beta now, um, I would imagine we're going to get a whole lot of announcements about stuff, probably Starcraft as well, but of course the thing we are most excited about here is Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Um, we could do a whole series on these as far as what we'd like to see overall for the game, PvP, PvE, lore, all that good stuff, but I want to focus today specifically on the warrior. My my love, my one true love in the Warcraft universe. I I just I, I wanna I wanna talk about what I would like to see coming up for Warriors as a whole. Um, specifically of course focused on PvP, because that is really what we do here, except for those random challenge modes, which were awesome. Um because there's so many things that are going to be different and that are changing in Legion that I think it is worth taking a look at these things. Um, with the artifact weapon coming out, there's all the speculation about what the artifact weapon itself is actually going to be for Warriors. We know what the one for Prot is, but we don't know yet for Fury or Arms. Um, all of the talents and such that are attached to those artifact weapons, there's a lot of possibilities. With the PvP talent trees as a whole, um, just the cl class changes, and with Blizzard emphasizing that they are wanting to get back to the immersion factor, the fantasy behind each and every class, I think we are in position to see some pretty gnarly class changes across the board. Some notable ones that uh, we know are changing are Demo Locks, and Blizzard has mentioned Shadow Priest, though. We don't really, all that could be changing for Shadow Priest could just be them renaming the Shadow Orb currency or resource system from Shadow Orbs to Insanity is about all we know. Uh, it, it could be just that, who knows. But again, they are re-looking at classes. So with Warriors, um, I think the initial thing we're all thinking about is what spells are going to get brought back. Because obviously we're getting new skills every expansion that happens. Um, and I think Blizzard is in tune with the fact that the abil ability prune for some classes might have gone a little bit too far, or they might have pruned the wrong abilities. Now, I'm not going to say it has or has not, and they did or didn't one way or the other, because I feel like every class is different. Some classes got hit harder, others didn't. Um, in my opinion on Warriors, at least, is I think they might have hit arms a little bit too hard with it, but um, simply because it's hard to do anything but AOE damage, and I know that's the point, but it would be nice to have a single target option. That being said, I would like to see Overpower come back. I know I'm not alone in that. Do we necessarily need it damage-wise? Not really. Arms is in a good place. Our damage is really good, especially if we're in a position to where we have a healer sitting at us. I'm talking strictly in threes or in BGs when we have a healer following us around. There is almost nothing more destructive than a warrior with a healer following them around. Especially if the enemy team is silly enough to keep hitting on you. All they're giving you is free rage and free attacks and you're just going to unload on them. So, overall damage wise and DPS, warriors have actually been in a pretty dang good spot this entire expansion. I don't think anybody could say it otherwise. Execute actually works this expansion, which is great. Uh, you could even argue that Execute might be a little bit overpowered. But I'm not going to say that too loud, Blizzard might nerf it. <laughs> um, but I would like to see some single target ta attacks back. They don't even have to be strong, but I would just like to have the option of not spamming the butts off of Whirlwind. Especially for comps that are heavy, trap and CC heavy. Um, not being able to break that trap might be kind of nice. So, with that being said, it would be kind of nice to see Overpower come back. Whether it's something in the Artifact Weapon Talent Tree, one of the PvP-only talents, although that would be kind of silly, or just a skill we get back. 
Either that or even slam. I don't even know if we necessarily need both back, but one or the other. And again, they don't have to be super strong. I don't really necessarily care about that per se. I mean, I don't want them to hit like a wet noodle or else it's just a waste of rage. But it would be nice to have a single target option back. Um, some changes we could see. Potentially, we could see slam no longer being a talent, which would be great. Whoever thought slam needed to be a talent in the first place i think that was a little bit silly uh they could have picked a better option i think but again that's just, just my opinion i suppose um so slam could come back overpowered be cool i wouldn't mind seeing a return of deep wounds um though with that i suppose if they brought back deep wounds that we could expect possibly a rend nerf because rend itself actually does a decent chunk of damage so that plus deep wounds might get a little out of control but it would be kind of cool to see that back um, something I would like to see back, though I don't know if they will bring it back simply because of the artifact weapon now. If they didn't announce artifact weapons, I would have actually thought this would have been a possibility. Um, but because they're locking us into one artifact weapon for the entire expansion, obviously it's going to be one weapon. So if it's a, for arms warriors, for example, if it's a mace, it's a mace. If it's a sword, it's a sword. If it's an axe, it's an axe. We're not going to change it throughout the entire expansion. It just is what it is, right? I would have liked to have seen uh, weapon special uh, specializations back. I don't know if you remember um, back up through Wrath of the Lich King when we had the old school talent trees. You had uh, two-handed sword, pole arms, and axe, or uh, mace specialization. And each of those, depending on what you spec into, basically had a different perk to it. I believe um, the axe and pole arm one was five percent to crit. The mace was maybe armor penetration or maybe that was the axe and pole arm one. and then the uh, sword one was like a chance at an extra attack I, I always get the axe pole arm and then the uh, mace one mixed back and forth I know one was armor pen and one was 5% to crit um, I'm actually no I'm positive the axe and pole arm was crit anyways um that's not important um, <laughs> but I would have liked to have seen that back though again because we are getting artifact weapons and they're locking us in it to one specific weapon I don't think we'll see that coming back which is okay um, kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, other things I would like to see for Warriors. Actually, I guess I could say things I'm okay staying the same. Uh, I'm okay with Arms Warriors not having Enrage. I think that was kind of a cool change. I like that Fury only has Enrage. Uh, it fits the spec very well. You're just getting pissed off, and the harder people hit you, the more enraged you get, the more damage you do, the more enraged you're going to get, and you're just going to do a crap ton more damage. Whereas arms, the the kind of fantasy element and the, the immersion factor is you are a trained, precise swordsman, two-handed weapon wielder, you're not raging around, you are focused, you are precise, you are a, you know, you are a well-trained warrior, a knight almost, and I like that differentiating point between the two. Um, talking about theory briefly, I hope since again we are being locked in to uh, artifact weapons, I can't imagine they're going to give us an option between single minded fury or titan's grip, or if they do it's locking us in for the entire expansion. Um, but I can't see them giving us an option of both, so I could see them getting rid of single minded fury and just only doing titan's grip, at least I hope that's the way it goes. Simply from a immersion factor, it seems like it would be a step backwards if all of a sudden we've been able to dual wield two-handers for so long and all of a sudden we're stuck with just dual wielding one-handers. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm hoping it'd be nice to still have the option because I do like sometimes it's fun just to go back to dual wielding uh, two one-handers just for the sake of nostalgia, old school fury back in the day. It's cool. But just the concept of wielding two two-handers. I mean, look at this right now. I've got these two massive swords in my hand, the challenge mode swords, the great sword of the inferno. These things are massive. It's huge. I am a raging berserker. That's freaking awesome. And of course, again, if we get locked back into just two one-handers, it's like, oh, well, it's it's okay. It's cool. I mean, you're still playing Fury, and as long as the damage is there, it's honestly not going to matter. But it looks cool, and that's half the fun, and that's half the importance. That's why we have our favorite skills and why certain classes appeal to us and why all of a sudden we make new alts because all of a sudden we're like, oh snap, what's that guy casting or what's he doing? That looks cool. So uh, hopefully Blizzard is able to kind of get an idea for that. Listen to the community on that one. Listen to the warrior community and we'll be able to kind of hear and see uh, what goes on with that. Um, artifact weapons. We talked about those a little bit as a whole. Let's talk about the artifact weapon itself. Uh, still no release on what they're going to be for arms or fury. There's some speculation. There's some really good speculation out there, but we just don't know. Um, personally, 
I don't think it'll be any legendaries or massive two-handers we've already seen in the game. As cool as it would be to be Sulfurus, as cool as it would be to be Shadow Morn, um, it's just not an option, I don't think, because they're already in the game. As cool as it, actually, Gorhal would be really cool too, but again, I think that's one of those ones that it's just not an option. It's already been in the game, so it would be kind of silly to do that. Um, even though technically you could argue Ashbringer was in the game, um, Death Knights are technically getting Frostmourne, even though Frostmourne never was really. I, it, it, there's a whole lot of stuff behind it, who knows. Um, the lore behind a lot of the artifact weapons is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. The, um, we do know by based on leaks, it's not officially on the Blizzard website yet, at least not the last time I looked. But we know what the Prot Warrior one is gonna be. It's a sword and shield um, that was put together from a scale of Natharian, which is kind of dope. I was hoping for maybe a two-handed sword forged from like a tooth, a claw, a bone from Natharian. A, because I just love swords, and B, Natharian Deathwing is my favorite villain and uh, dragon in the entire Warcraft universe. So yes, I actually enjoyed Cataclysm. Weird, I know. Um, but who, who knows what the two-hander could be? My money is on Broxigar's Axe. If you don't know what that is, you can actually check out um, one of Noble's videos. He does all lore stuff, and he does um, goes over uh, Broxigar, who has an axe that was forged and given him by Sonaris, and it was the only axe, and he was the only mortal to ever actually wound Sargeras himself. Pretty hardcore. I'm thinking, as a warrior, I can get behind holding that axe. That seems kind of cool. That seems nice and uh, showy offy, flexy, you know, hardcore. I'm I'm wielding the weapon that cuts Sargeras. Like, that would be dope. And it's an axe, so I'm cool with it. I'm just really hoping it's not a mace. Like, I don't like maces enough to commit an entire expansion to them. And I really don't want to have to transmog my artifact weapon. I, I just don't. I really, really don't. But we'll find out. I, I mean, at the end, I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is, but that's my two cents on it. Um, possible options for Fury, uh, everyone's kind of leaning on uh, Varian Rin's weapons because there's some speculation, some scuttlebutt floating around there on the internet that uh, suggests that he might die this expansion coming up in Legion, which would kind of suck because I like Varian Rin, but for the sake of story and progression, you know, I guess it has to happen. Um, but I guess I'd be a little concerned with that simply because I'm not sure if those are two-handers or one-handers. They don't really quite look like two-handers. So, who knows? Possibility, though. Would be kind of cool because they are pretty sweet-looking swords, and I've always thought to myself, it'd be fun to, uh, use those swords. Um, Shadow Morn would be cool for warriors, but again, I just don't see it being an option. Though, lore-wise, it would work, I think. Um, since technically the Burning Legion and the Scourge are essentially the same villains... Uh, having a weapon like Shadow Morn to cut through the uh, Scourge would be, or sorry, I should say the Legion would be kind of cool and it would work out lore-wise. But again, I just don't see it happening simply because it's already been a legendary. So there it is. Um, and then, of course, there is the option that Blizzard could completely make up a brand new two-handed weapon for Warriors and put some lore behind it. That would be kind of cool. I know they're doing that with some of the other uh, classes and specs. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm excited about it though. I, I really am. I, I have a lot of high hopes for the artifact weapon system. Um, and I just think what they're doing with it is kind of cool. Especially with unlocking skins and all that kind of good stuff. It's always kind of fun. So we'll see where that goes. Um, deterring back to talking about arms. I would like to see arms get back another attack that lets me um, generate rage. Rather than just generate rage from white attacks and taking damage, I would like to get at least one attack back that lets me generate rage. I really liked Mortal Strike a lot when it would generate rage, um, though I know the trade-off for that is now Mortal Strike hits like a truck, so I'm really not sure where the balance there would be. But I would like a little bit more reliable way to build rage other than just taking damage. I don't know. Maybe that I'm alone on that one. If you guys have any thoughts about any of this, please feel free to leave it in the discussion. Um, if you would like me to take a look at any of the other classes you've seen me play and post on the YouTube channel and give some thoughts on it, let me know. This is kind of where I'm at for Warriors. I'll probably make another one. I'd like to do some more of these videos for Legion as it is. But as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.